The primrose plant is native to Western and Southern Europe, from the Faroe Islands and Norway, and East to Southwest Asia. The primrose is a native plant in Britain, and its distribution remains stable. Its decline in areas of East Anglia, following a series of hot, dry summers from 1970 onwards, hints at a possible threat posed by climate change. Another threat comes from the loss of habitat. The common name is primrose, or occasionally common primrose or English primrose. It is a perennial plant growing 10 to 30 centimetres tall with a basal rosette of leaves, which are more or less evergreen in favoured habitats. The leaves are 5 to 25 centimetres long and 2 to 6 centimetres broad, often heavily wrinkled and a usually short leaf stem. The scented flowers are 2 to 4 cm in diameter, borne singly on short, slender stems. The flowers are typically pale yellow, though white or pink forms are often seen in nature. The primrose is one of the earliest spring flowers in much of Europe. The name primrose is ultimately from Old French prime rose or medieval Latin prima rose, meaning first rose, though it is not closely related to the rose family. In appropriate conditions, the primrose can cover the ground in open woods and shaded hedgerows. In more populated areas, it has sometimes suffered from over-collection and theft, so the few natural displays of primroses in abundance can now be found. However, it is common on motorway verges and railway embankments where human intervention is restricted. To prevent excessive damage to the species, Picking of primroses or the removal of primrose plants from the wild is illegal in many countries including the UK. The primrose is distinguished from other species of primula by its pale yellow flowers produced singly on long flower stalks which are covered in rather shaggy hairs. The flowers open flat rather than concave, as in the case of Primula versus the cowslip. The wild primrose is a staple of cottage garden plantings and is widely available as seeds or young plants. It grows best in moist, well-drained soil, in light shade and is increased by seed or division. Primrose breeding of named coloured varieties became popular in the 19th and early 20th century. Numerous cultivars have been selected for garden planting, and these and other garden hybrids are available in a wide range of colours and with an extended flowering season. Both flowers and leaves are edible, the flavour ranging between mild lettuce and more bitter salad greens. The leaves can also be used for tea and the young flowers can be made into primrose wine.